हेलो फ्रेंड्स यू आर वेलकम टू किड्स जॉय आर्ट्स टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड मैथ स्टेट बोर्ड न्यू सिलेबस द टॉपिक और द चैप्टर फॉर डिस्कशन नाउ इज रिलेशंस एंड फंक्शंस डू यू नो everything on the earth almost is built up or framed on certain concept nothing exist alone and everything is in relation with everything is one such aspect and this aspect endorses this chapter relations and function now i pose a question what is relation relation involves pair of objects in a particular order and what is function function is mapping or transformation because as a rule a function can generate new elements out of some given elements now we know what is relation and what is function what is relation relation involves pair of objects in a particular order what do you mean by pair of objects in a particular order it is ordered pair now ordered pair what is ordered pair ordered pair is a pair of elements which are used only in a specific way or in a particular order for example 4 comma 2 this 4 comma 2 is actually a point in a graph and it is an ordered pair the first element always denotes the x coordinate and the next element always denotes the y coordinate therefore 4 is x coordinate and 2 is y coordinate now 4 comma 2 and 2 comma 4 are two order pairs in this order pairs the elements are the same but their positions are not the same therefore they both are not the same the same is plotted in this graph in this graph in this point 4 comma 2 4 is x coordinate and 2 is y coordinate in this point 2 comma 4 2 is x coordinate and 4 is y coordinate so from this graph it is clear that these two points are not the same in the same way these two order pairs are also not the same that's about order pair now cartesian product cartesian product of sets what do you mean by cartesian product we know ordered pair a set of all the ordered pairs of elements of two sets is called cartesian product the formula for cartesian product is a cross b equal to a comma b such that a belongs to a and b belongs to b so we can get the cartesian product by crossing two sets consider a and b are two sets 2 3 4 are the elements of a 5 6 7 are the elements of b now a cross b a cross b is 2 comma 3 comma 4 cross 5 comma 6 comma 7 in this cross we will get the first element of a comma the first element of b the first element of a comma the second element of b the first element of a comma the third element of b the second element of a comma the first element of b the second element of a comma the second element of b the second element of a comma the third element of b the third element of a comma the first element of b the third element of a comma the second element of b the third element of a comma the third element of b 
so in this cross we will get 2 comma 5 2 comma 6 2 comma 7 3 comma 5 3 comma 6 3 comma 7 4 comma 5 4 comma 6 and 4 comma 7 in every pair the first element is from set A because it is A cross B now B cross A B cross A is 5 comma 6 comma 7 cross 2 comma 3 comma 4 in this cross we will get 5 comma 2 5 comma 3 5 comma 4 6 comma 2 6 comma 3 6 comma 4 7 comma 2 7 comma 3 and 7 comma 4 in every pair the first element is from set B because it is B cross A that's about an account on Cartesian product in this chapter relations and functions we quite commonly come across few terms like domain codomain image pre-image and range now we are going to get them all clarified with their meaning to start with domain and codomain consider a and b are two sets 2, 3, 4 are the elements of A, 5, 6, 7 are the elements of B. The same set can be represented in this way in Venn diagram. Now a function from A to B. So all the elements in set A are the domain that is 2, 3, 4. In the same way all the elements in set B are the codomain that is 5, 6, 7. So 2, 3, 4 are the domain. 5, 6, 7 or the codomain. Now, image and pre-image. Once again, the same sets A and B represented by the same method in this way by an arrow diagram. In this arrow diagram, 2 corresponds or assigned to 5 or mapped to 5. This indicates 5 is the image of 2. In the same way, 3 corresponds or assigned to 6 or mapped to 6. This indicates 6 is the image of 3. In the same way, 7 is the image of 4. So, 5, 6, 7 are the image. Now, what is pre-image? Pre-image is the elements in A connected to the given element. Now, 5 is the given element and that is connected to the element 2 in set A. This indicates 2 is the pre-image of 5. In the same way, 6 is the given element and that is connected to the element 3 in set A. This indicates 3 is the pre-image of 6. In the same way, 4 is the pre-image of 7. So, 5, 6, 7 are the image and 2, 3, 4 are the pre-image. Now, range. Consider A and B are two sets. 2, 3, 4 are the elements of A. 5, 6, 7 and 8 are the elements of B. Here in this arrow diagram, 3 elements of A corresponds only to the 3 elements of B that is 5, 6, 7. And these 5, 6, 7 are the image of the elements in A and they are having pre-image in the A. And 8 is not the image of any of the elements in A. So, 5, 6, 7 or the range. So, from this arrow diagram we know 2, 3, 4 or the domain, 5, 6, 7, 8 or the codomain, 5, 6, 7 or the range. This is a part of introduction of this chapter relations and functions. The rest we shall see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. You are going to watch more such easy math videos. Thank you.